Hello and welcome. This is Lord Gameson. Today we are going to be playing Iron Tank. This is an arcade game and our mission orders are to find and destroy the enemy's long range firing turret. Yes, yes. Quite the story. Now I can see why this game would probably be nominated for an Oscar for its brilliant story and it is quite a shame that it got, you know, left to the dust. But of course, video games, video games have always been snubbed by the Oscars, haven't they? Yes, yes, oh, of course I'm kidding. Video games should never be for the Oscars. Oscars are for movies. You all know that. Lord Gamerson is just being silly. Well, yes, so we are going to be playing Iron Tank. Played on the PS4, an emulation from the arcade game released by SNK and released again on the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. So yes, tanks. This game is fun. It's like a little overhead shooter. You shoot all the guys coming at you. You shoot all the tanks coming at you. But you know what? I bet you would like to learn just a little bit more about tanks. That's why you came to watch this video, to learn about tanks. Am I right? Yes, of course it is. So, let's see. I am pulling up a Wikipedia page, and I have tank. A tank is an armored fighting vehicle designed for frontline combat. Tanks have heavy firepower, strong armor, and good battlefield maneuverability. Provided by tanks and a powerful engine, usually their main armament is mounted in a turret. They are a mainstay of modern 20th and 24th century ground forces and a key part of combined arms combat. Yes, yes, tanks are very important. In warfare, they are very important. And they look good just lying around the city. Like, you know, you go to a certain place and there's a giant tank there. Well, that's pretty cool. You'd want to go to that place again, wouldn't you? Yes, tanks are cool. Everybody loves tanks. Unless you're getting blown up by a tank. In which case, you would probably hate tanks. Or maybe your father was killed by a tank. Then indeed you would hate tanks. And you would want to avoid that area. Indeed, tanks. So let's go on. Modern tanks are versatile mobile land weapon system platforms that have a mounted large caliber cannon called a tank gun and a rotating gun turret, supplemented by mounted machine guns or other weapons such as anti-tank guided missiles or rockets. Ooh, very exciting. They have heavy vehicle armor, which provides protection for the crew. The vehicle's weapons and propulsion systems, the use of tracks rather than wheels, provides operational mobility, which allows the tank to move over rugged, or I should say rugged, terrain and counter... Ad wait, I just tripped over that line. And counter adverse conditions, such as mud, and be positioned on the battlefield in advantageous locations. These features enable the tank to perform well in a variety of intense combat situations, simultaneously both offensively with fire from their powerful tank gun and defensively due to their near invulnerability to common firearms and good resistance to heavier weaponry, all while maintaining the mobility needed to exploit changing tactical situations. Fully integrated tanks into modern military forces spawned a new era of combat, armored warfare. There are classes of tanks, some being larger and very heavily armored and with high caliber guns, while others are smaller, lightly armored, and equipped with smaller caliber, smaller caliber, I mean smaller caliber, and a lighter gun. These smaller tanks move over terrain and speed and agility and can perform a reconnaissance role in addition to engaging enemy targets. The smaller, faster tank would not normally engage in battle with a heavier armored tank, except during a surprise flanking maneuver. Wow. 
Excuse me a moment. That was very interesting. We just learned a lot about tanks. Yes, indeed. And let's apply our knowledge to winning tank-based video games. Because nothing can defeat this game better than real-life knowledge. Brought on by the fine people of Wikipedia. That's right. Always reputable. Always there. Wikipedia. So we have to go over terrain and collect various letters. Because that's what you do in war. You collect letters. Letters that are littered everywhere. Sometimes you need B's. Sometimes you need L's. Sometimes you need L's when you're only getting B's. And sometimes you need B's when you're only getting L's. Yes, indeed, warfare can be tough. And sometimes, sometimes, when you're on the battlefield, you can't even get a nice cup of tea. That's really quite the worst part of war. You know, you just, you want some tea, but you can't because you're in war. And you would probably spill it because, you know, the running and shooting and dodging and dying and all that stuff. Well, we have another chance to get the V's. We have another chance to get the L's. And that's truly one of the beautiful things about these arcade games. For if you have enough quarters, you can always get the B's and the L's. Because that's the point of it all. But we must also defeat the giant enemy tanks. And this tank is proving to be quite a bother for my tiny teeny little tank. These tanks aren't built to go against these larger, faster tanks. But I guess that's what keeps you popping in those quarters. You need to beat the tank. Hey, what happened? 